welcome to my kitchen. This is where I get the chance to show you some of the things I'm cooking and some of the Pampers Chef products and how I use them. So the first thing I want to show you is tonight's dinner. Um, we have been away for the weekend in Brighton. We've just got in. I haven't got very much time to be cooking. Lots of things to catch up on. So I'm using my fantastic rectangular baker. I wasn't even sure what to cook but I went through the um, fridge and found some kind of like leftover root vegetables and some chicken out of the freezer. So all I've done Sweet potato, new potatoes, a few little ends of carrots, lobbed them in, just a teaspoon of oil to get them very lightly coated because there is going to be fat coming out of the chicken thighs and that will finish off the, um, the coating um, of fat. And I also found I had some thyme, so I've lobbed that in as well. And then I can just put that in the oven, walk away and leave it, give it about three quarters of an hour and there we go, some frozen peas with it and that's dinner. So I also know that tomorrow I'm going to be really busy and I haven't got very much time for food prep at all. So I thought I'd get ahead and make a spaghetti bolognese to just be heated up for tomorrow night. So I'm going to do this the easiest way. This is going to literally take five minutes because I've told my husband it's only going to take five minutes of recording, then he can get back to watching the telly. So hopefully it will only take five minutes. This is um, my lovely, much beloved deep covered baker. I think possibly out of every single piece of stoneware, um, this is my favorite. And we call it the magic pot because literally you just bung things in, put the lid on, stick it in the oven. It's like a slow cooker, but you get much, much better flavors when you do it in the magic pot than when you do it in the slow cooker because I found the juices don't um, evaporate down in a slow cooker, so everything's a bit watery and there's too much juice, which doesn't happen in this. So I'm going to take the lid off, and this is the simplest way of making bolognese sauce, but it is definitely the tastiest. So you just get your packet of mince, stick it in, I've thought it's got a bit in the middle, I've thawed this out in the microwave, put that over there, that's not going in the rubbish. Then you get, I tend to have um, two tins to get a lot of um, vegetable content in. So I've got two of these. These are my kitchen shears. They lock together like that for storage. They are very sharp. You can um, cut through chicken bones, you can prune your roses, you can cut fuse wire. Um, they have actually got a little lid thingy cover that goes over the blades, but I always lose these essential parts. So um, I've got a packet of tomatoes, one of those in. If I've got any leftover wine, which I don't think I have today, but if I have got a little bit of leftover wine, I normally put that in my bolognese as well. So that other one's going to go in. Then I'm going to put some onion in, one big and two small. I've got two small. The only onions I have left in my fridge. I'm going to use my fabulous food chopper. Probably a lot of you have already got the food chopper, and if you haven't, you need it. What happens with the food chopper? You bang, blades go round. It's like chopping with eight knives all at the same time. So, all chopped. How long would that have taken me with a knife? I'm just going to show you a little bit more finely. So that looks like that now. But if you want to keep going, you can literally make it as fine as you want. So I'm going to pop my onion in next. Then I'm going to have some garlic. Oh, this is, um, thank you. Husband's reminded me to show you things. This is one of our um, flexible cooking mats. You can get big ones, you can get little ones. They're flexible, as you see, so you can kind of funnel things. They're really handy if you're camping or if you want to take something on a picnic because they're small, they're light, they're easy to wash up. They're slightly sticky on one side so they don't sort of slide around when you're trying to chop. And they've also got measurements, inches and centimetres. And they come as a set of three, in three different colours. Um, so that if you want, you can have, say, the red one for raw meat, the green one for vegetables, the yellow for anything else you fancy. Now I tried, I'm going to pop the lid on actually because this onion's a bit pungent and it'll make me cry. I tried to find my garlic press, I don't know what I've done with it, it's vanished. So this does give me a chance actually to show you the garlic slicer. Now this I love. If you don't much like cooking, frankly I don't suppose you're going to use it. But if, you, if you're like me and you do like cooking and you do things like stir fries and curries and Thai things, it's fantastic. And what you do is you 
peel your garlic, you pop it in, you can have loads in there, pop it in like that, pop the little lid on and then just turn and it works like a sort of pencil sharpener and out come all these beautiful, thin, even, lovely slices of garlic, like so and then, can you see there's nothing left? You don't get all the scraggy bits left at the bottom. What a good thing that I'm married to somebody who is actually a BBC technician and does cameras and sounds. <laughs> I chose him well. Sorry, you were back there, couldn't you? <laughs> so in here, I'm just going to put my garlic. If you press garlic, you get a much more um, strong pungent flavour. If you want a bit of garlic flavour but not quite so strong, then sliced garlic is the way to do it. As I said, I would have pressed it, but mm. I couldn't find it. <laughs> you're getting hungry. Yeah. Then we need a few flavourings. So I'm going to pop in some. I mean, you'll know how you do your bolognese sauce. So whatever you normally put in your bolognese, just put that in. So we'll have a little bit of extra tomato puree, probably about that much. Some Italian seasoning. Obviously, if you've got fresh herbs, you can use those. But I find it quite handy to keep in um, dried herbs. And then my secret ingredient is um, one of these knur or nor or whatever it is, um, a stock gel thing, because I do find that um, supermarket mince doesn't have an awful lot of beefy flavour. So it's very handy to beef it up a bit by popping one of these gels. Then I'm going to use one of my scrapers. Um, we've got this one today because it's just the first one that, cropped, that uh, popped out when I went to grab something. I love these. I would not be without a scraper because they stir beautifully and they're heat proof, they won't melt. It's still slightly frozen this mint, so that'll be okay. It's gonna be slow cooked, so we'll be fine. And then just give it a bit of a vague stir about like that. And Bob's your uncle, this is it. You then put the lid on, put it in the oven for a couple of hours and it will just um, mellow and cook and all the flavors will, um, will come through and you get really, really lovely, soft, tender mints. It's absolutely delicious. You don't have to do any pre-frying, so it saves you masses of time. This is extra lean mince. If your mince is a bit on the fatty side, um, obviously you haven't pre-fried it to get rid of all the fat. All you'll find is the fat will float to the surface, you just skim it off. So you can get rid of the fat just as easily. And pop that in the oven. Oh, incidentally, I am told, although I've never done this myself, friends of mine also put in um, pasta and some extra liquid as well and then it all cooks together um, but I can't tell you that that works for an absolute fact because I've not done it myself. If any of you that are watching this video have done this please comment and you can tell us if it works. Right so that's me done. Thank you so much for watching. What I'll do is I'll post the links for these various products that I've been talking about and then you can go and order them from your friend show. If you've got any questions, please do ask and I shall come back to you and answer your questions. Thank you for watching.